Let us consider integrals with integrand of the form 1 over ax squared plus bx plus c. So here a is not equal to 0 and the capital D here is the discriminant of this quadratic expression which is b squared minus 4ac. And for this case, we have the case where the discriminant is equal to 0. It means that the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 has a single real root. Okay, so in this case, the strategy is to just use u substitution because if the discriminant is equal to zero, it means that this quadratic expression is a square of a linear function. For example, if you're given this integral, integral of 1 over 4x squared minus 12x plus 9dx, when we factor the denominator, we'll get 2x minus 3 quantity squared. Since this is a square of a linear function, for sure, the discriminant here will be equal to zero. Because as you can see, there is only one zero of this quadratic expression. And that is x equal to three halves. So here we can evaluate this integral by substitution. We can write it as one half integral of this 2x minus 3 raised to negative 2. And then this is our u, the 2x minus 3. So if this is our u, our du will be 2dx. That's the reason why we multiplied here 1 half to make these two expressions equal. And then now just think of this as integral of u raised to negative 2du. So its integral is equal to u raised to negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. And we can simplify this, write it down as 1 over, this is 2x minus 3 times negative 2, you'll get 6 minus 4x, and then plus the arbitrary constant c. Now, let us consider integrals where the integrand is of the form y over ax squared plus bx plus c. Again, a is not equal to 0, and the discriminant is positive. So, first strategy if you know that the roots are negative b plus minus square root of d all over 2a, then you can use actually this integration formula to evaluate this integral quickly. It is 1 over the square root of d, square root of the discriminant, ln of absolute value of x minus root 1 over x minus root 2 where in this case r1 is greater than r2. So for example, if you have integral of dx over 2x squared minus 5x minus 3, the discriminant here is negative 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 3, which is just 25 and then plus 24. So that is equal to 49. So it is greater than 0. So we can use this technique. Then the value of this integral is just 1 over square root of d, which is 1 over 7. And then ln of what are the roots? So since this is factorable, it's very easy to find the roots. So the roots are negative 1 half and positive 3. So the higher root goes to the numerator and the smaller root goes to the denominator. So you have here x minus 3 all over x plus 1 half. Actually, we can write this expression as 1 over 7 ln of absolute value of x minus 3 all over 2x plus 1. It's like multiplying this denominator by 2. But of course, we have here a constant which is different from this constant c. So here we have this c sub 1 as actually 1 over 7 ln of uh, 2 plus c. And if you're going to use property of ln, this is 1 over 7 ln of this expression plus ln 2. So it will be ln of the product and you'll get the denominator which is x plus 1 half. Now if you see this expression, so 
also this is a technique in finding the integral of this expression if you know the factorization of this ax squared plus bx plus c because x minus a 3 and 2x plus 1 are just the factors of the denominator so actually this will be 1 over square root of d and the numerator here is just the factor that will give you the larger root which is in this case it's a 3 and the denominator is the factor that will give you the smaller root in this case the smaller root is negative 1 half let's have another example suppose we want to integrate this one integral of dx over 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 now if we look for the roots of this equation expression equal to 0 then the root will be equal to again negative b so that is 4 plus minus square root of b squared which is 16 minus 4 times 2 times 1 for ac which is 8 so this is square root of 8 and that is our square root of d okay so this one it is equal to 4 plus minus 2 root 2 all over 4 and we can write it as 2 plus minus square root of 2 all over 2 so using this uh, formula integration formula the integral of this is just 1 over root d so root of 8 square root of 8 and then ln of absolute value of x minus the larger root of course the larger root will be 2 plus square root of 2 all over 2 all over x minus the smaller root which is 2 minus square root of 2 all over 2 and then plus the arbitrary constant c and we can write it in this form so 1 over 2 square root of 2 ln of multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2 will get this expression another strategy to evaluate the integral is using by completing the square so here we were given this integral integral of dx over 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 so we can evaluate this integral in the following way by completing the square so first it's very easy to complete the square if the coefficient of x squared is 1 so therefore factor out first one half here and you'll get integral of dx over x squared minus 2x plus one half and you complete this one x squared minus 2x and how do you get the constant that you're going to add to this binomial to get a perfect square trinomial you divide this negative 2 by 2 and you square it so negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 you square it you'll get 1 okay so make sure that this uh, expression is equal to this x squared minus 2x plus 1 half you have here plus 1 so to make it 1 half you subtract 1 half so now this is already a perfect square trinomial you can write it down as x minus 1 quantity squared and 1 half can be written as the square of the square root of 2 over 2 so that is the square root of 1 half right so when you square this you'll get 2 over 4 which is equal to 1 half so this is already in the form integral of dx over u squared it's like du over u squared minus a squared and we already have a formula for such an integral and using this formula so we have 1 over 2a so our a here is just square root of 2 over 2 so 2 times this square root of 2 over 2 will just get a uh, square root of 2 so it will be 1 half so 1 over 2 square root of 2 ln of absolute value of a uh, u which is x minus 1 minus a all over u plus a and then plus the arbitrary constant c and again if we multiply the numerator and denominator by 2 we'll get this expression and then plus c now let us consider integrand of the form 1 over ax squared plus bx plus c again a is not equal to 0 but the discriminant in this case is less than 0 so that means the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 has two imaginary roots okay so in this case the fast way to evaluate the integral is using this uh, formula so integral of 1 over ax squared plus bx plus c dx is just equal to 2 over square root of absolute value of d 
and then tangent inverse of the quantity 2ax plus b all over square root of absolute value of d and then plus c. So this is easy to remember because you have here the 2 and then you have here the 2 and then square root of absolute value of d square root of absolute value of d and actually the numerator here is just the derivative of the denominator with respect to x. So when we differentiate this, we'll get 2ax plus b. So, for example, if we're going to integrate uh, dx over 2x squared minus uh, 3x plus 4, so when we compute for the discriminant, we'll get here b squared, which is 9, and then minus 4 times 2 times 4, so that is minus uh, 32, we'll get negative 23, which is less than 0. So we can apply this strategy. And this is the fastest way to evaluate this integral. So we'll get here 2 over the square root of the absolute value of this, which is 23, tangent inverse of the derivative of this denominator, which is just 4x minus 3, all over the square root of 23, and then plus c. We may also evaluate the integral by completing the square. So here... If we evaluate this integral by completing the square, again, we first factor out 1 half to make the coefficient of x squared equal to 1. It's easier to complete the square. So you'll get here x squared minus 3 halves x plus 2. And then to get the constant that you're going to add to this binomial to make it a perfect square trinomial, just divide this negative 3 halves by 2. You'll get negative 3 fourths and you square it, you'll get 9 over 16. Now, we need to add 23 over 16 to get the plus 2 here. Okay, so you have 9 plus 23 is 32 over 16. It is only plus 2. So this expression is equal to this expression. Now, we can write down the denominator as the square of x minus 3 fourths. And then plus this one as the square of square root of 23 over 4. And using our integration formula, integral of du over u squared plus a squared equal to 1 over a tangent inverse of u over a plus c. So we'll get here 1 half times 1 over a. Our a is square root of 23 over 4 tangent inverse of our u is just uh, x minus uh, 3 halves all over square root of 23 over 4 and then plus c, which can be simplified as 2 over square root of 23 tangent inverse of the quantity 4x minus uh, 3 all over square root of 23 plus c, which is actually the same expression as what we got here using this faster technique. Now let us consider integrals with integrand of the form rx plus s all over ax squared plus bx plus c. So the strategy here is to write it as a sum of two fractions. And the first fraction will have a numerator which is just a constant multiple of the, denomin uh, of the derivative of the denominator. So it is constant times 2ax plus b. Because in this case, we want to use substitution to evaluate the integral of this expression. And we've learned already how to evaluate this integral. So here, if you're given integral of 2x minus 5, so this is, you have here the dx, of course, okay, all over x squared plus 3. So we can write it down as... Again, the derivative of this one is just 2x, which is exactly the same as this one. So we can write it as the integral of this expression, minus 5 integral of 1 over x squared plus 3dx. And to evaluate this first integral, we just use u substitution. So if the denominator is our u, this 2x dx is just our du. So integral of du over u is ln absolute value of u. But in this case, the u, which is x squared plus 3, is always greater than 0. So we ignore the absolute value and just replace it by a grouping symbol. And to evaluate the second integral, we use this integration formula, which is 
1 over a, our a here is square root of 3, so 3 is the square of square root of 3, so that is 5 over a, and then tangent inverse of u, our u is just x, over a, and then plus c. Let's have one more problem. So pause this video if you want to try this out first. So let's evaluate integral of 8x minus 5 all over 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 dx. So again here. So the technique is to write it as two integrals. So here we have uh, 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. Its derivative is what? 4x minus 3. And of course, since we need the 8x here, so we need to multiply this by 2 to produce the 8x. But this will give us what? 8x minus 6. But in this numerator, we only have 8x minus 5. So minus 6, in that case, we need to add a constant 1. Okay, so that when we add these two fractions, we'll get the original fraction, which is 8x minus 5 all over this denominator. So to evaluate the first integral, we just use u substitution. So this is just integral of 2 du over u, which is what? It is equal to 2 ln of absolute value of u. And then plus, to evaluate this integral, we evaluated this already okay, in the previous examples. And this is just 2 over square root of 23 tangent inverse of the quantity 4x minus 3 all over square root of 23 plus c. And we can write our answer in this form without the absolute value because this quadratic expression is always greater than 0. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.